to go get our makeup done. This is our third one. Matt, Nas. Nas. And today we're pushing the boat out and we're going to Chanel. The plan is to obviously have our makeup done each full face. We'll try and film as much as we can. Once we're done, we'll come back, show you close ups and talk about the experience and how it is. It's also pancake day. It is pancake. We always have to come up with what, what where we're telling them we're going because they did say on the phone when we put didn't they? Yeah. I think just like a work event. So she goes. So what kind of event? <gasps> to be fair, the first thing that we've they found out about over the phone is that it's the cheapest one that we've had so far. Yeah, we both heard. She said the price, and I was like, we were both. Check. Yeah, we were like, is that like full face? But it's twenty five pounds each, which is cheap. No, it's so it's twenty five pound minimum product spend so yeah 25 pound yeah so, but 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 then you get that back in product the idea is that nothing in chanel is 25 pound ah probably because ah <clears throat> see what i did there unless i bet it's the one of the cheapest things and like a brush the idea of it is that they do something in your face that you're obsessed with isn't it yeah this traffic then uh, it's actually in a department store um i don't think she, does Chanel have actual beauty shops on their own? Don't know. But we've not done a department store version, so hopefully it will be. Both got a nice bare face. Ready right. to be glammed up. But yeah, we'll see you in there and fingers crossed she'll let us film. If not, we'll just have to. If not, we're screwed! Okay, so I've just sat down. So it's just parking. I basically just asked for. Bronzy and Dewy. I've got these products so far. Foundation wise, do you like quite a full coverage or do you like quite Not too full. Natural. Yeah, quite natural. Or covered, but covered, yeah. not okay. too, yeah. I don't know if it helps. I use um, MAC face and body. That yeah. kind of vibe. I've got a little bit of moisturiser like on, a but more. a little bit yeah, of I've sure. got quite dry skin. Nice. We added a bit more moisturiser and we're starting the eyes. Yeah, that's what's going on so far. So long. Do you want to take a seat? Should I grab your chair? If that's alright, thank you. Made it. Bronzy and dewy. Not as red anymore, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, tell me if it's enough cover. I think I'm going to go with the darker one, but just yeah. really lightly. Lightly, yeah. Just for that time. Let me show you the colours to go with it. I don't know if I was already addressed this but because the window's behind her. Thank you. Obviously the lighting's not great. I'm looking very pale. Ew. I always end up making it like a vlog, but I just went to Costa and got myself a drink. <laughs> So I just asked for um, quite a natural base and then more of a bronzy eye, um, like an orangey bronze because I feel like it was quite a um, cool toned, like a more orangey sunset. And then a wing, just because I feel like I don't look like myself but a wing. And yeah, I just said dewy bronzy, just how I'd normally do it, quite a natural base. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. The lady's just gone to get um, another member of staff to do my eyeliner. She doesn't feel like, um, yeah, she doesn't feel like her skill is, what's the word, <coughs> precise enough for uh, eyeliner, which 
Fair enough, being I'm honest. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I've met, we see YouTubers say all the time that they don't like doing eyeliner, so. Mm -hmm. You've either got it or you haven't. And to be honest, I'm actually quite good at eyeliner. I hate to burn my trumpet. And I was not too bad at either, you know? Molly Neville, not so much. Imagine you left with white eyelashes. I'm assuming that's primer. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. I bet you like that lip balm, that's nice. So yeah. nice, isn't it? It is, it's a bit aesthetic, but it's really nice. Fun. Right, we're gonna choose our products out of the 50 pound we have to spend between us. Um, we both like the lip liner. I actually really liked the bronzer that she used on me. Like, all I do is buy highlighters. Oh, all I do is buy highlighters. Just like that, we are done. We are done. Chanel, I'm going to show you our faces while we're in the lights. We're about to get in the car. Shut your eyes. So this is Elle's full face. This is Sid. Shut your eyes. I love yours. And I guess we'll talk in the car? Yeah. Okay. Because the lighting's a bit funny now. But you saw our faces just now. Yeah. Experience. <coughs> Experience was lovely. Yeah. I wasn't there when you first got there. So was she happy for you to film? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, so um walked in, said hello, do you wanna take a seat? Um, and then we'll like discuss and yeah, I just sat down. She was like, what kind of event is it? And we kind of touched on it and then I brought in the fact that we vlog and I said, is it okay to film? And she was like, yeah, I just, I just don't want to be in it. And I was like, yeah, no, that's fine. And then she was like, yeah, that's fine. And that was that really. I um, came in slightly late and then I ran to get a drink. When you came, she pulled you up a chair? Yeah, very polite, attentive. Yeah, she was very friendly. Even when she wasn't, I noticed stuff like this actually. Um, when she was doing your makeup, obviously she was face on, but when she wasn't, she like opened up so that I was still in the conversation. Yeah, and she did also mention that she was the only person on the counter today, like staff. So she was like, I'm really sorry if I have to like juggle other customers. And I was so like, So she checked don't each be time. Silly. Yeah, she was like, Are you sure? And I was like, oh, Don't be silly, of course, like serve everyone. So she balanced that really well. Yeah, I agree. Literally everything you said. She, there was no difference in how she was with you than me. Because obviously no. she done Elle's makeup, then mine. Yeah. Um, I guess because it's a department store, that's probably one of the differences between when we've done Mac and Nas. We was in a store just mm. for them so there was more star we had no mirror to look in but i don't know we had that a handheld like mirror a... yeah true 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 every time she done something she did check. she did say do you want to check in the mirror anything you want to add and can't she... fault the makeup artist personality wise she was and so yeah, lovely really really nice really chatty one thing i will say i didn't even though i'd say chanel is known as really high end i wouldn't say there was a massive difference in like cayenne to like staff wise staff wise no but then i don't know what else you could do yeah she couldn't have done any more apart maybe like i mean obviously it's not her fault that she didn't kind of offer us a drink but i think maybe that could have been a brand yeah like, improvement i think where i i'm comparing it to when you go in maybe chanel the store yes and if you're looking at buying a, maybe not chanel because chanel are absolutely Parent, I've heard this vile when you go in the actual store, mm. the star. So she's done very well for the beauty side of Chanel, but mm. I've heard people like bloggers like Freya Killian and Alicia LeMay and stuff like that. They say the Chanel staff are awful, but Mad, comparing it? it to high end, like when we go in Louis Vuitton, if you're if you show interest, they'll offer you a drink straight away. Yeah. But then it, and we got that in Nas. Don't know if that's a department. Yeah, store. I think it might be the overall. Like they might not have the facilities, which mm. is fair enough. So yeah, overall experience was really nice. It wasn't yeah. like get me out of here. Yeah, really welcome in. Mm. Really like felt settled. I'd say it's again not her fault, but like I kept my coat on the whole time just because we were by the front door. Yeah, that was the only thing. But she was even she was like obviously it's not. That's not her fault. She at was all. like it's snowing this week. She might have to wear a coat. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Talking about the makeup looks themselves, I like mine. I like that it's everything she done. She like checked. Mm. 
I like yours a lot. She made, she bring over a palette, and like everything was double checked. I guess mm. I was going back to her being a makeup artist though. So like she brought over a palette and then I was like, oh no, I really like them colours. But then she was like, oh, you do know that that's going to be really matte. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Mm. But then she'd like, she'd say like, I'm going to add a tiny bit of shimmer now. Um, yeah, I like it all. I like the honesty that she went and got someone else to do the Me wing. Me too. I think that is such a big thing. Yeah. A lot of people would not have done that. I much, I'd much prefer her to have said that. And then got someone else, then it'd be awkward that she's like messed up. Or yeah. Even if she was like, you want to do it yourself, like 100% mm. you'd prefer, you'd want, at the end of the day, you want your makeup to look good. Yeah, it's very natural. And you know what? I actually think, when I was watching Elle's, I did think, and this isn't even like disrespect towards her, this is more like people's techniques and different ways they've been taught. I did think it was quite an old fashioned, not old fashioned, but like quite old school. Yeah. But, then I thought, that's quite Chanel. Yeah, it is. It's a timeless brand. Yeah. Their audience, I think, generally speaking, are older. Yeah. So um, I I do think that she's very... The way she does makeup is so suited to Chanel. Mm, yeah, I agree. And that is no way, like, bashing the way she does makeup at all. I'm just saying, like, obviously, nowadays, it's all about, like, literally blending so it's seamless. But this is more like you can see the crease and you can see, like... I hope that makes yeah. sense. I actually really like it. It's everything I asked for. Mm. Would you say it's your best one out of these videos? Yeah, I think it is, you know. It's very minimal. And some people watching this video might be like, you've barely got any makeup on. But that is, it's, it's annoying. Well, I think that's we look the, the most like, like we do, yeah. Um, the mascara I really like, actually. I forgot to, keep, I forgot to ask what, like... Oh, that girl was called. Oh, yeah. I saw when she was putting on you. It was really nice. But then she put on a primer first. So I yeah, don't know. she did actually. Really nice. I am happy with mine. It's nice, glowy, dewy. She's full of compliments. She's like, you've both got beautiful yeah, skin. Yeah, she's so nice. Like, I can't rave about her enough. She's yeah, really so cute. nice. Just talking about what we've got coming up. Not even too. You know when you're like, oh my god, stop talking. It wasn't even like that. No. I'm going to let Elle talk and I'm going to get out of this car park because yeah. I'm worried that I've paid for my ticket and they're not going to let me out. Yeah, we need to get going. And I'm going to hold you because you were sliding before. Yeah, going off what Sid said, I actually like mine as well. Um, at first, I think, so like obviously when we sat down, she was like, talk me for what you want. And I literally, I think I might have got it on camera. I literally said the words like dewy, um, quite bronzy she said how do you like like your coverage and i said if it helps the foundation that i love is like mac face and body because i quite like to give like a comparison and she's like oh yeah i've got you this one's really similar and to be fair it is um with a brush mac face and body is pretty much nothing tiny bit less than i thought but i actually still really like it um like I, to my memory i've got something else to say when you're done go on um I, again, this isn't her. I do think, like, I remember Nas, she was like, we're taught to just use hands. Yeah. I think that they're told to obviously use the powder puff. Yeah. And I think and they didn't really Chanel, use powder. I don't like Chanel. Chanel brushes, brushes are way too dense. Mm, it I felt don't really know. like it wasn't. It Get just felt a bit bristly. A little bit like light. But that's as not. Well. It's literally just her using the brand that she has to use. Yeah, so. exactly. Skin. I think we're both pretty satisfied because we do have good skin at the moment. If I didn't have good skin uh, at the moment, then it wouldn't be enough. But obviously, I would have said that. Um, so yeah, I really like the skin. The brows are fine. Lips, I loved. The only two things that I will say that I was a little bit like. Eh? I originally, I don't think you were there, I originally said I'll have some eyeliner um, and then when we got to it, to be fair, she advised, she was like, I think maybe like a brown smudge and I was like, yeah, that sounds good to be fair. Um, so we kind of like worked on it together. I was like, I don't really want it too dark on the bottom and to be fair, it's not dark dark. Maybe I should have said nothing, but yeah, it's a little bit darker than I would normally do. Nothing that I can't just smudge out. The only other thing was, um, yeah, I uh, had to ask for powder under my eyes, but again, that wasn't really a problem. Problem. I just thought that I was didn't quite... know, but I didn't notice. Yeah, I creased quite a lot, so I guess that was just preference. Apart from that, I don't think she puts powder. They put powder on at all, which Again, I guess I, I asked for Jimmy. I think that's an older generation thing. Do you? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen my nan put on. And I'm not just saying grandparents, by the way. I've <laughs> never seen our channel like I compare what my nan does. But, yeah. Um, but honestly, apart from that, I think I could just top up my lips. Smudge out the underneath. Maybe a tiny bit more bronzer, but 
I could have asked for that. It's only because I've come outside and I look a bit pale. But yeah, overall, I'm really satisfied. Yeah, I am. More so than I definitely thought. But can I, I just want to, I know we say so much. It literally makes, I could, ugh, this could look ugly, but because she was so lovely. Yeah, it just It makes matter. the world of difference. Yeah, personality. I just keep thinking everything. back to that Mac video we did. If you've not seen that, that's probably the only bad experience we've had and you didn't even really have it. And I honestly feel like she could have made me the best I've ever looked and I probably still would have been a bit like... 100%. This is... Like, it just shows... She ruined your day. Yeah. And she ruined half of mine because I was there to witness it as well. Comes down to being professional. Yeah, and just... I mean, yeah, being professional, but also you shouldn't have to do it in your job to just be polite to someone. Going back to the girl today, like we said, she was... A little, I'd say she was a breath of fresh air. Yeah, she was really, She she's so suited to that job, I think. Yeah. So, Jade, if you're watching this. Is that home, Jade? Yeah. Yes. It was a pleasure to meet you. And, and thank you so much. You're amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, do you want to show the products that we chose to take? Oh, yeah. So, the Chanel makeover. To be fair, we noticed it's a bit cheeky. Obviously, from the brand, again, not her. Uh, the Chanel makeover is £25 minimum spend on product and none of their products are that. Their lip liners are just under, so they're clever. Mm. Um, so we both got the same lip liner which she used on us, which is in nude brown. I mean, this is when like it looks very luxurious. Oh, that bronzer that you got was 42. Wow, yeah, because our looks total nice comes to 100 and... Show you. 120. 20. We didn't really show the bronzer, but... Um, I think I think she only used it on you, but it comes in a pouch. I'm such a bronzer. <gasps> yeah. I love the Chanel packaging. It literally looks like a little Chanel bag. Doesn't it? Where? <gasps> oh, so God. this is in the shade uh, medium deep, which is like a really nice bronzer colour. £35 for the blush, which again comes in a little pouch. This one's in a little black packaging, and this one was Orchid Rose. Oh. Looks really different to the one she used, but still pretty. The more I'm like wearing this, it, I think we just both look like ourselves. Like the other makeovers have been too much. This is just every day. Yeah, honestly, oh. the more I look in the mirror, it just literally looks like I've done my makeup. Yeah. Other than, which she did keep asking the other lady, um, do you want more, more liner? I probably just, um, do a little bit of a longer wing, which that was just my own fault for not. Mm. Oh, the other lady for doing your eyeliner. Oh, she was, she was lovely she as well. We didn't get her name. So lovely. Um, but she was a little perfectionist and a little gem. Some people get a little bit cocky with makeup, um, and especially eyeliner. If you can, obviously she's been called over to do it, but she was like, Oh no, she can't over and fine. She was like, I might be shaky because of the pressure. Yeah, she was so nice, um, and she made sure that like we all liked it. So. Yeah, shout out to her as well. That's the end of this video. Um, let us know if you have any more brands that you want us to uh, interrogate. Mm -hmm. We will be sure to do so. Yeah, I enjoyed this one. Me too. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>